in here. Yeah. I usually do. Hey, everybody. It's Jonathan Harmon with the J. Harmon Home Team, powered by Keller Williams, with my buddy John Brockwell. Um, I have known this guy since I coached at Blackman. That would have been 2006 when I started there. Can you believe it's been that long? It's been a while. I have annoyed the ever-loving mess out of this guy for that long. So, And he's always always done it with a smile, at least at least that I can tell. Maybe on the phone he probably hangs up and slams the phone down and everything else. But, no, uh, you guys do such a great job. I, I doubt that there's been – oh, I can't think of a single time where I've been frustrated with you guys. Good. That's that's awesome in 13 years because <laughs> I'm, I'm not that easy to work with sometimes. So, uh, anyway, John Brockwell owns uh, Ideas Tees and Raiders Tees. Um, and uh, Ideas Tees, you, you guys are – back here kind of behind Chewy's is what I always tell people on Ridgely Road yeah. and uh, got in my opinion the best selection of MTSU gear uh, in the county um, even better than some other places that should have better MTSU gear <laughs> not that I'm gonna name any names but uh, always my go-to place for blue uh, blue stuff um, so John tell me tell, how long have you been in this business first of all I started my own business in 1985 uh, I got a degree in animal science from the University of Tennessee at Martin. Uh, started working for Tennessee Farmers Co-op, and they moved me to, uh, after two years in West Tennessee training, they moved me to Laverne, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. um, we've sort of made it home since then. Uh, stayed with them until 1985, and then with uh, two daughters, a two-year-old and a four-year-old, I decided I wanted to be home more, and, and I was just gone a lot. Yeah. And so I decided that I would uh, do something on my own. My dad had been in business for himself for 40-something years and, and uh, got into the marketing business to start with, which is what I did for them. Mm -hmm. uh, we started uh, calling on all the companies that we had spent their advertising dollars over the past 10 years and uh, actually did a lot of national programs for a lot of different uh, agricultural farm supply companies. So in, when you say marketing, like commercials or print ads or? It was mostly direct to consumer type promotions. Um, we did everything from one of, the, one of the first, one of the biggest we did was for a uh, cooperative up in Illinois uh, where we gave away uh, coveralls and we imprinted a logo from one of their suppliers onto the coveralls, sent them out individually, and sent out almost 2,000 pair of coveralls over a four-state area. Good gracious. Um, we also did everything from the little leather pouches that attach to your belt that have a tool in them. Did, did a lot of those. Most of those were vice grip tools. Mm -hmm. uh, we did uh, even did uh, three day cruises for a company out of Chicago okay. to introduce one of their new products. Very nice. So it, it was it was a little different type of promotion that we were, were doing for folks. Um, about four years into doing that, I realized that every other week I was driving or flying to Chicago or New Orleans or Syracuse, New York or somewhere. And I just said, there's got to be something better than this. I quit the co-op because I didn't want to travel, and now I'm traveling again. Yeah. And uh, so at the time, we had bought a building in downtown Murfreesboro and started a small screen printing operation, and we were printing for a lot of elementary schools. My wife was an elementary school teacher, and we were printing for about 20 different elementary schools in Williamson and Rutherford County. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, so we took looked, the ball and ran with it. Look, huh? Looking at the financials, we thought, well, this looks like a pretty good deal to do. Yeah. And uh, that sort of morphed into uh, doing state parks. We did a lot of merchandise for state parks. Uh, and then, to probably more by accident than anything else, uh, we fixed a bunch of t shirts for a TWSWA. Uh, soccer tournament that had the wrong had a wrong had a misprint on it mm -hmm. and we were able to fix those for them and uh, the couple that we were dealing with uh, who did all of the merchandise for TWSWA they retired a couple of years after that and uh, we started doing their merchandise uh, wow. four or five years later uh, being on MTSU's campus for volleyball and and basketball and at that time football 
Mm -hmm. um, we were approached by some folks at MTSU to, to look at opening an MTSU store. And um, it sounded like a pretty good idea. We were going to a lot of games. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was uh, just interesting to, to take a different role at a lot of those games. Yeah, and you know, MTSU historically, um, at least from what I can tell, has not been uh, very uh, liberal with their licensing uh, logos and, and things like that. It seems like it's hard to find their stuff sometimes. Well, it's it's not it's not the university's fault. It uh, it tends to be um, there are companies out there that make merchandise that own licenses, and you have to own a license that to make merchandise for resale. Sure. Uh, which we own one. There's, right. There's not many folks that have those. Right. Uh, it's not that they're, they're people, they don't want folks to do it. It's just they're just folks that don't do it. Um, you have to make, to be able to, to be able to make merchandise, you've got to be able to afford the minimums. And one of the first campus merchandising shows I went to, a lot of people would look at my name tag from a lot of these manufacturers and say, oh, well, we don't do anything for MTSU. And my next nobody question, bought their stuff, right? Well, it wasn't that nobody was buying it. They, nobody would buy the minimums. And so we, we looked at it from the standpoint of saying, uh, well, what's the minimum? And there, are, there have been instances where we've bought merchandise that we've carried for two and a half years just to sell the minimum. Mm -hmm. But we've been able to have some merchandise that no one else has. Mm -hmm. Also, by having a license, we're able to authorize some manufacturers to manufacture stuff for us that you just don't find everywhere else. Mm -hmm. And so we have a lot of very unique merchandise here that it's you're only going to find it in our store. Right. Yeah, and, and that's absolutely the case. I mean, we've you know, there's been several times where you know, you see you see stuff here and there and it's starting to get a little more, you know, fans are are buying to where other people are taking a chance on it, but even still, I mean, if you want something a, a, if you had an NTSU fan um, in your family, and you don't shop here for Christmas, then you're missing the boat. We, we like to think that. I've been a sports fan most of my life. I was the sportswear chairman for my fraternity in college. Um, it's like built into you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> every, every since then, when we go somewhere to for a football game, and, and we travel, we used to travel a lot more than we do now, but, but uh, we've gone to Starkville, we've gone to Birmingham, we've gone... Uh, to Knoxville, we've gone to Lexington, Louisville, so we've gone to a lot of places. I always spend a few minutes looking in the sporting goods stores to see what they have. Sure. And so when uh, MTSU came to us initially to request that we look into doing that, I already had the background. Yeah. You know, I already knew most of the places that we could contact and because I picked up the packages of the different items and turned them over and looked at them. Right. And, and if you're in this business, it's a continual process of looking at, well, what are customers buying today? What, sure. is, what are they asking for? Uh, in, a, in a lot of cases, can we afford the minimum? Right. Well, and, and you also listen to the people that come in here, right? I mean, you have your regulars, your folks that, that spend money with you. You know, I remember I asked, um, this has been several years ago, I, I want an apron. Can you get me an apron? And you're like, we don't have aprons. And I'm like, I understand, but can you get an apron? And about a year and a half later, you had an apron, you know, and I'm not saying that you did it for me, but apparently enough people asked for it uh, that you took a chance. Bucket hats was the other thing, you know. Um, I had asked about that, and you said, well, we're, we're looking into that. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, a few years later, there's bucket hats in here. So, and I'm looking right now, I see two of them um, on, the, on the racks over there. We, we have a couple of different colors and styles. Phone call interrupted. There we go. That's the problem with you when you record these things on, <laughs> on a phone. And when you do them on there, you get all kinds of other stuff interrupting. Um, so, obviously, and I'm going to show you guys here in a second the, the MTSU store. Um, so, that's your, your retail, front of house type stuff. But, I mean, that is the tip of the iceberg on what you it, guys do, isn't it? It truly is. We're, we started as a screen printer. Um, we added, uh, a little over 10 years ago, we added in-house embroidery. Mm -hmm. um, By the way done here <laughs> so we do uh, we do a lot of uh, merchandise for a lot of businesses uh, our largest customer is probably uh, well is uh, TWSWA sure uh, we do all of their state championship events 
Uh, this past weekend, we were in Smyrna working the bowling event. Mm -hmm. uh, not this coming weekend, but the weekend after that, we'll be at uh, Franklin doing team wrestling, dual wrestling. Mm -hmm. Uh, then two weeks after that, we do individual wrestling. Uh -huh. And then we do three weeks of basketball. And uh, then uh, our next event is May, and it's five state championships all in the same week. Uh, we do 10% of our total volume that week in a four-day period. That's crazy. And uh, so it takes us six weeks to get ready for it. And y'all do, I mean, y'all do the cheerleading uh, competitions. You do, of course, the football uh, stuff out in Cookville now. Um, I mean, you do all of them, right? Yes, uh, yeah, we spent actually four days in Cookville. Uh, the ninth game was postponed, yes, mm -hmm. and uh, that that game was postponed until Sunday. So I was spent Saturday night up there and worked the game on Sunday and then came home. Um, we've done a lot over the years. We've, we've worked with a lot of different groups doing a lot of things. Uh, sometimes we've just provided merchandise for them to sell, which we do with a lot of the football booster clubs in the county. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then sometimes we actually set up and, and sell ourselves. It just depends on the circumstances. Mm -hmm. You guys, the, the first thing I ever got from you guys was uh, warm-ups for the wrestling team that I coached, um, and maybe t-shirts at the same time. I think it was all, all of the above at, at once. And uh, then you guys came to one of our tournaments and sold some, some merchandise at a tournament. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, if I remember, did you guys do transfers on site there, I think? No, we actually, we, we have never been a big fan of transfers on site. Uh, we've looked at direct printing. We've done that on site. I, I bought a small printer one time where mm -hmm. we could actually take it. Uh, there's just so many variables in screen printing. Uh, did the ink get hot enough that it cured properly? Um, and quite frankly, it smells. It does put out an odor. <laughs> um, so we no we we act, we did some printing um, we did some printing on the uh, at that before we did the weight classifications on the sleeves. Okay. Uh, we also did pins on the sleeves, but um, we just don't really do that. It's just not our thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we go to all these state tournaments, everything is pre-printed. Uh, for basketball, for instance, we'll actually, for the final day, we'll take championship shirts for both teams. Uh, one set of shirts will sell for the team that wins. The, the team that doesn't win, uh, those shirts are grouped together and sent to Mexico the next year. So uh, somewhere around the world, there are a whole bunch of inaccurate t-shirts. We've actually, <laughs> we've actually sent shirts uh, over the past 10 or 12 years to Sierra Leone. Uh, we had a connection with a guy who was a, a, a missionary there. And every other year or so, they would pack up an ocean-going container, uh, and whatever extra T-shirts we had, we would put them on it. Uh, we worked with, uh, when Katrina hit New Orleans, we sent merchandise to New Orleans. Uh, we sent them to two Native American reservations, one in South Dakota and one in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we bumped into this group that the week between Christmas and New Year's, they take a lot of high school seniors in, in a group of churches in, in Mount Juliet, and they take them to Matamoros, Morris, Mexico. And they actually work with folks who live on the side of the dump. Mm -hmm. And these people, their basic job is recycling materials that's dumped there every day. Oh, wow. And uh, so we sent them brand new t-shirts that are sports related in most cases. Um, we. Um, that they also group with that dental supplies and they feed them a meal and and you have some 17 and 18 year olds and get to see a different side of the world that they've never seen completely different yeah and uh, the minister for that church has actually come to visit me uh when he was visiting the churches in mount juliet that he deals with to tell me that uh, the brand new sports related t-shirts are one of the hottest things they give away wow that's that's interesting that's that's very cool well, I, I, as far as service goes um, on your business, I, I can't think of a more customer-centric service business around. Um, I mean, you guys, uh, I'll, just as an example, I, I assume you guys do this for other companies as well. I don't think I'm that special, but you digitize my logo. You keep it here, and if I want a jacket, you know, as long as I'm willing to wait for it, right? Yeah. I say, hey, can you get me another one of those? And instead of having to go through the process of getting 20 of them, you know, now t-shirts a little bit different, of course, um, but on the, the customer embroidery and that kind of stuff, you guys take good care of me. It takes a, you know, a week, maybe two to turn it around, depending on how fast the item gets in. Yes. 
and uh, and you guys take great care of us. And uh, you know, prices are are I think they're right exactly what I would expect them to be. Um, now, granted, I've only ever bought from you, so maybe they are cheaper somewhere, but I can't imagine getting better service anywhere. So to me, that's it's worth every penny of that. Well, one one of the things when you're running a small business is is you want to be competitive. You don't have to be the cheapest person around because right. typically, if you are the cheapest person, there is a reason. There's a trade off. Uh, there's a trade off, mm -hmm. and uh, um, two weeks or less is our normal turnaround time. Now we do mm -hmm. we do work with a lot of folks. Uh, that have deadlines that they're they're trying to meet, and uh, after we've worked with them for a while, typically they'll come in a month in advance and say, "Okay, I want you to save this day to have my job done." Mm -hmm. And so it's just a matter of scheduling. Well, and communication, right? I mean, you guys can only bail somebody out of their own pickle so many times. So many times, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and you try, but oftentimes it's like, "No, you you kind of created this." Yeah, for and, <laughs> and and we have to we have to look at the events that are coming up. Um, uh, as as an example, uh, team wrestling comes up next weekend. Mm -hmm. um, we know, we won't know until Monday morning who actually is competing. Right. And we put the names of the teams on the back of the shirts. Really. So we'll wait until Monday morning, but it's already marked off the schedule that we need Monday and Tuesday to print stuff for team wrestling. So if you need something on Monday and Tuesday. Sorry about your it's, luck. It's gonna be it's gonna be really tough to work it in. Yeah, but uh, you guys got that. So if you call them, not Monday and Tuesday <laughs> coming up. <laughs> but uh, but now individual wrestling, which which takes place two weeks later, uh, we don't put team names on the back because right. it it is just the individuals that have earned it. So those are not on the shirts. Um, too many names for a back of a t-shirt. Absolutely. And uh, so those shirts are already printed. They're already they're already here. They're already ready to go. Um, we do have an online store that we, we post whatever's left over. Um, I think I had 32 shirts left over for bowling. That is not normal. Normally I have a few more. Uh, you know, your ideal goal is to, to have the last shirt for the last customer that wants one, but it's been very, very, very rarely in the 16 right. or 17 years I've worked with them that we've been able to do that. Well, then you kind of wonder, could I have sold could more? Could I have sold some more, <laughs> yeah. and, and, you know, you'd always rather have a few shirts left over than not have enough. No doubt. No doubt. So, um, Ideas Tees, where, where did the idea for Ideas come from? Uh, actually, our corporate name is Agri Ideas. Okay. And uh, that comes from Agricultural Ideas. Um, after we let, after we quit doing the the nationwide marketing work for all of the folks that we were dealing with, nobody understood that. So we simply shortened it to a, a DBA do business as ideas. Then we added ideas tees and and then TWSWA tees. And then when we started working with MTSU, originally it was uh, MTSU tees, and uh, we have since shortened that to Raider tees. Uh -huh. um, and uh, so Raider Tees is our primary retail store. Right. Um, and then TWSWA Tees is our high school market. Ideas Tees is everything else. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, you have a fantastic business here. Family run. Family right? run. Uh, How many of your family members are involved in this business? I have uh, three daughters and my wife. My wife uh, taught for 32 years and she retired and, and uh, she helps us out as needed. Uh, my middle daughter is still here. Uh -huh. uh, she, uh, her husband, works for MTSU, and, and uh, she's still here, and she's worked for me since she got out of college. Uh, my other two daughters, oldest and youngest, even though they've moved and they're out of town now, they worked for me when it was possible. Uh -huh. And and one of the really fun things about the TWSWA T's part is. Um, Spring Fling, as an example, we need 24 people to work booths, and they're only going to work for two or three days. Right. And so we have used daughters, friends, sorority sisters, classmates. Uh, All hands folks, on deck. Folks we go to church with, and, and uh, it's been really fun to be able to, to meet a bunch of these kids and to work with them. And literally, they are kids at that point in time. They're sure. 18, 19 years old. Uh, I get a lot of invitations to baby showers and weddings, and always. Do you always to, take some embroidered? Always send them something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, you know, but it but it's been fun. I, I always I always tell people it's kept me young because I've been able to laugh at a twenty year old and make them laugh too. So, 
Uh, so that that's been a lot of fun. Gotcha. So you laugh at them or with them? With them mostly. I'm sure they're laughing at me behind <laughs> my back when they say, did you, "Did you hear what that old man just said?" Right. But uh, but it's it's been a lot of fun. Well, I know, uh, I know Amy usually answers the phone when I call, and uh, I'm sure when I say, hey, this is Jonathan Harmon, she usually rolls her eyes. Yeah. Because she knows I'm either going to make her try to research <laughs> something or I'm going to ask her for something ridiculous. But uh, she, does a, she does a phenomenal job. Thank so, you. So uh, you're very blessed to have her, of course, as your daughter and then also helping you run the business because she does a great job. Um, so what else? What's, what's on the horizon? You got Every time I talk to you, there's something new coming. So... What's, uh, you guys added the metal cutouts uh, fairly recently? We added uh, the metal wall art. That, if, if there's been anything I've complained more about, it's the fact of lack of artwork for MTSU. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I really feel like I have been over backwards to try to find somebody to do that. Um, talk to folks that have done all types of artwork. Uh, finally had one guy produce one print. Uh, that says uh, middle on it. The one up at the top? The one at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if that's showing in there. Let's see. We'll get the glare off of it. Little, I got a little glare there. Not off my head, I promise. There you go. Pretty cool. With the Raiders on there. This piece of artwork, uh, I think that was painted actually in the mid 80s. Uh huh. Uh, they're still available. Uh, I can tell you where to find them. But the metal wall art has been one of the big things, and we're talking to an artist in Georgia now about doing some some watercolors. Uh, he does a lot for the University of Georgia. Okay. And uh, we're talking to him about doing some watercolors, um, and then we're we're looking at expanding the the uh, metal wall art line into something other than. Uh, just for it. It's plasma cut. Um, I bumped into a guy that was selling it at Uncle Dave Macon's, and I just mentioned to him, I said, have you ever done any university stuff? And he said, no, I'm not licensed. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, if I can get you licensed, where can we go from here? And uh, not too long ago, his wife told me that uh, Jason said to her, said, you know, bumping into the guy at Uncle Ray Macon, one of the luckiest things that happened to us last year with the amount of, of merchandise that we purchased and resold. That's awesome. Uh, we're having it powder coated here in town. Mm -hmm. And um, if you ever need anything powder coated, I'll, I'll, I'll bump him along a little bit. Powder pros. Now, I, I have had one complaint about him. Some lady was in here, and I told her who was doing my powder coating, and she said he did a swing set for me, and it rusted all the way through to which I expressed a little bit of dismay, and she looked at me and she said, of course it took 14 years, but, <laughs> but it did the rest through. And, and then she laughed and, yeah. and we moved on. So, so uh, yeah, we try to find folks that do things that's gonna be around for a long time. Yeah, well, and you know, I, I preach all the time on this, that, that local business, it truly is the fabric of a community. And, uh, and you've absolutely proven that with your business, I mean, I don't know of any of the schools that don't get something from you, right? Probably, probably most of them. Yeah. yeah, I mean whether it's a club or a team or some combination or the school itself or whatever, they're they're all using you. You know, you hire, you have local people working here. You outsource stuff to local people. I mean, this is it's a big deal that it, what you do. You know, we we think that truly is, and and uh, it's a part of our company philosophy. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I had an occasion where an online office supply place came in and offered me a deal on my office supplies. And I really thought about it for a while. And then I got to thinking, you know, it's just nice, even though they're corporate owned, to be able to walk over to Office Depot, pick up what I need and bring it right back here. Yeah. Well, it keeps people that live here. People people are, that live in, in Rutherford County have a job. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, you know, it keeps the business local. Uh, I think we're probably going to see a point, probably not in my lifetime, but uh, everything is going to be shipped. Yeah. You know, we're, we're a touchy-feely generation, and that's going to go away. You're just going to have to take whatever you see online. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's sad to me. I, I, I don't disagree with you, and I, I, think, I, think it's, I think it's almost inevitable to some extent. Um, I don't know. I don't like that. I, you know? I really, uh, and, and it's sort of a joke among a lot of screen printers, 
you really like it when folks bring in one of the online price quotes and they say, well, I can get this for this. And you look at it and you go, well, if you want to pay more, that's fine, but we don't <laughs> charge those prices. And so, uh, uh, I mean, we're not going to be the least expensive all the time, mm -hmm. but uh, I think anybody that goes online, they really need to look at somebody local first and say, yeah. you know, can, can I get this done locally? I agree. Well, and, and I tell people in the lending industry, you know, I tell clients, yes, you might be able to find a cheaper quote online. Always look for the fine print, number one. Mm -hmm. And then number two, there's just something to be said for if it's not exactly right, being able to go in and look someone in the eye and go, tell me why this is like this, you know, or if you have to go in and yell at them, you know, not that anybody, I don't know that, has anybody ever yelled at you before? Um, a time or two. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. They must have been crazy. Um, well, John, I'm going to... Uh, kind of take this and let's do a, a once around the store if you want to come with and, sure. and tell us about some of the, the cool stuff um let me do this i'm gonna take it off of the stand sorry facebook live you're just gonna have to deal with looking at my arm there and um let's kind of take a look around you guys have i mean it's all blue you know it is all blue um i mentioned earlier that i graduated from ut martin uh, grew up a big sports fan, um, on uh, season tickets at a couple of different stadiums, but uh, most most of my time is spent right here in Murfreesboro. Right, and and you support. I, I don't know of anybody that really supports the university better than you. You know, kind of put your money where your mouth is. You know what I mean? We 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 try to try to support. We try to go to bowl games when we can. Uh, go to different activities that are held not only here but but outside mm -hmm. of County. so you got a bunch of t-shirts hanging up around the the top here and they're all in these bins right yes and uh, i actually own a few of these t-shirts there's the old logo right there Let's see if you guys got that in the shot yep there it is that's when i went to school there kids clothes which i'll tell you what this is hard to find anywhere else it, it's hard to find a huge selection of kids' clothes, yes. And that's pretty cool. You got some good stuff in here. Uh, my daughter has owned a few of these. Um, she's had a dress very similar to that before. <laughs> well, Jonathan, here's here's an example of something. Uh, I got a, a, got a notice from a company that was making TriStar hats, and they were going to do the background in orange and have a power tee on the side of it. And my first thought was, you know, I think middle fans would be interested in that as well. Heck yeah. And so we ordered uh, four different hats, ordered what we thought was a six-month supply of them. Uh, they lasted a little over two weeks. Um, <laughs> so we immediately ordered a year's supply of them. And then knowing that the TriStar was very popular, uh, we started making, I, I just noticed this in the video, we started making t-shirts ahead of TriStar. I love that. That's awesome. Uh, and we copied this from the softball coach um, that we do a lot of work for uh, at Metal. He wanted to put that on some of his things. But uh, then folks started coming in making suggestions. We need a ladies hat. We need a kids, kids hat. Kids hat, yeah. Uh, we need d uh, different things, uh, decals and magnets with the TriStar on it. And so it, it's, you listen to customers, they'll tell you what, what they'll, yeah. they're willing to buy. Yeah, I, and, I agree. Now, I've been asking for a specific jacket for a long time. And I have not found that jacket. I <laughs> know. So I bought that jacket um, somewhere else that was going out of business. And uh, then within about two weeks of owning it, left it in a movie theater and lost it. And it was it was my favorite, and and at this point it's become kind of mythical to me, right? Okay. Like it's the most amazing jacket that ever existed. It probably isn't, <laughs> you know, but in my mind it has become there because I can't get it, you know. So and uh, and I have we we've discussed that jacket on numerous occasions. We have. And I think the company that made it went out of business. In addition to where I bought it went out of business. Mm -hmm. So. If you have my jacket and you got it in that movie theater in Smyrna, I want it back and I will pay for it. So you know who you are. Oh, one of the one of the things that um, I I grew up three daughters. We owned a timeshare in Orlando. Uh, my kids are Mickey Mouse kids. Oh, and, nice. And I have talked to this company at least a dozen times. 
Uh, this is not Disney, but they do own a Disney franchise where they can make merchandise. Uh, so I'm excited to have Mickey Mouse stuff in. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and especially when it says Mickey Mouse stuff and MT on the side of it, it just uh, really fits together. Can't go wrong there. So that that is, uh, if you ask enough, sometimes you'll get what you're looking for. Well, I've been asking about that jacket for a long time. <laughs> If you, if you make jackets, um, give me a call, and I'll hook you up with John, because I know he's got at least one soul, and I told him I'd pay dearly for it. So, um, But you got jewelry, you got stickers, you got cups, you got signs, all kinds of other items, uh, the hitch cover thingies, uh, sunglasses, and my daughter got some of these pom-pom finger glove thingies right here, and uh, they're kind of obnoxious, but she loves them. And then a ton of decals and flags and um, various things like that. So I've got a significant number of those on my tailgating trailer. Mm -hmm. um, there's some of that big metal wall art that we were talking about. And then as far as shirts and things like that, you guys carry a lot of Nike mm -hmm. and uh, some higher high quality stuff. So what's your favorite brand to work with? Um, Do you have a favorite brand? Not really. I, I, I mean, um, we, we carry a lot of Nike because the university is a Nike school. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people want something that they saw a coach wearing. Sure. And uh, so we try to carry those things. Um, and, and then you're just always constantly looking for what's popular, what kids are buying, what adults are buying. Mm -hmm. uh, this rack that you're resting on there. Uh, this is one of our new sweatshirts that we came out with right before Christmas. It has the laces. Oh, yeah. It's a hockey thing. It but, is. But hockey in this area has become so popular. It's hot, yeah. Uh, and I don't know if uh, I sort of keep up with them on Facebook, but uh, the MTSU club hockey team uh, won both games this weekend. Over so, UT. They over sure UT. did. So, and they play at Ford Ice Center, which is just in Antioch. So, Hop, skip, and a jump. If, if you want to be able to go to a hockey game and sit on the glass, and scream and yell and bang on the glass like the folks that pay two hundred and fifty dollars at the Predators. Uh, that's cheap. It's you, way more than that now. <laughs> you can you can do that at Ford Ice Center and uh, cheer for the Blue Raiders. Just look them up on Facebook. Well, they uh, they are selling their jerseys. They're they're selling jerseys now, mm -hmm. and uh, my they're not going to be here till February. Uh, but that was one of my son's Christmas presents. Is he's got a, a jersey on and the way, jersey order. and you can get them personalized and everything. So. Uh, pretty cool stuff, and their jerseys are nice looking. Yeah, like, they should be. They did a yeah, great job. Really nice. Yeah, they went to actually one of the hockey uh, jersey companies, and mm -hmm. they're making them for them. So. Yep, it's pretty awesome. Uh, Columbia stuff as well. I know you guys carry a lot of Columbia. Yes. And I'm a big fan of these shirts, so uh, they're super comfortable, um, and you guys have them in different kind of cloths and stuff like that, and then the fuzzy uh, woolly thing. Sherpas. The Sherpas, thank you, yeah. Uh, that's a real popular thing, too, so... Anyway, John, uh, anything coming up that uh, you want to share? Any specials? Any pushes? Any new stuff? Uh, we've we've got all of our knit hats on sale. Of course, we're getting that kind of weather where you really need one. But our mm -hmm. knit hats are on sale for fifty percent off through the rest of this month, and then uh, we'll have a, a Valentine's Day, a few days where we're offering some specials. Um, so if you're ever looking for, and, and we get a lot of folks that just walk in. I got a, a Facebook message this weekend and said, what do you guys have that you can recommend for me? And, uh, of course there's a lot, you know, you, you, you introduce some of the new things first, but, mm -hmm. but, uh, always looking for new items. If you're, you're looking for something and you can't find it, you know, I, I, if you'll send me a message or, or, uh, call me or just drop by, you know, we'll talk about it. Sure. Well, and the other thing is, I mean, if you own a small business and you want to get some nice shirts made, some t-shirts or some, you know, you guys can print just about anywhere. You can stitch just about anywhere if it makes sense. Um, some promotional items, you know, not ink pens necessarily, but, you know, something nice. You want to give t-shirts to your employees or hats or whatever. Um, please, I, just like John said, come in here before you order something online because I think you'd be very pleasantly surprised. And I know... I know you'll like the service better. So, um, well, that's it. Anything else? That's it. Just uh, go blue. Go blue. That's right. Well, thank you very much for watching. This is Jonathan Harmon with the J. Harmon Home Team and John Brockwell with Ideas Tees.